Hi everybody, this is Don King from the mushroomhunter.com and in today's video I want to actually show you how to identify the false morel versus uh, an actual true morel. So here we have a type of false morel, a gyrometra esculenta. And as you can see, growing out of the ground here, sort of a brain-like shape and uh, with a very short stalk. So it's almost like the brain is resting on the ground. However, if we were to remove it here, you can see that it does actually have a stipe or a stalk. It's just very, very short. So false morels are one of the first fungi to fruit in the early spring. Uh, generally, it's, you'll see the false morels followed by the black morels and then the half freeze. And then usually a little bit later in the season, uh, the larger yellow morels. So if you slice open a true morel, uh, you'll notice that from the base of the stem all the way to the top of the cap, uh, the inside will be absolutely hollow. And that's not true with the false morel, which uh, it's sort of folded brain-like structure continues throughout the inside of the mushroom. Now you might find some information uh, online suggesting that uh, gyrometra esculenta or the false morel is actually edible when properly cooked. I don't buy it. Uh, there's too much research that actually proves that the toxins present do not dissipate when cooked like with other mushrooms. There's also a couple of other false morels called verpas uh, that are taller. They look a little bit closer to a true morel, but again, when you cut them open, they're not hollow on the inside, but instead are filled with a web-like structure. So again, avoid any morel-looking mushroom that isn't completely hollow. And you might be asking yourself, well, if this is a poisonous, toxic mushroom, why the heck is he holding it? Uh, well, the toxins in poisonous mushrooms have to be ingested for them to actually be toxic. So merely touching them is not going to uh, hurt you, provided you wash your hands when you're done. So again, if you come across a morel like this, admire it, but I wouldn't suggest picking it or eating it. Once again, I'm Don King from themushroomhunter.com. Happy hunting. Thank you.